Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a weekend recap for a Lehigh Valley Phantom that were able to walk away with a point from the weekend since they got into overtime against the Springfield Thunderbird, but then unfortunately were not able to have as much success against the Providence Bruins. They started that game really poor. Kirill had one turnover that led to a goal, just like the Reading Royals goaltender Pat Nagel at Liz. Wednesday, but that's what's going to happen when you're a goaltender that tries to play the puck a bit, and he is one of the guys from Europe that actually does try to play the puck a bit, and actually does it fairly well when he's at his best. Two years ago in Reading, he took pressure off the defense by being able to do some things like that, and he's just coming off of a big injury, something that takes a while for a goalie. It's also the big thing for a goalie that the great Bob Rotruck always talks about, which he's spot on about is having reps, reps, reps. Well, he doesn't have any, pretty much. He had that four-save cup of coffee that he came in, obviously, the previous um, weekend. And then he has the first game of the season with the Reading Royals, and that's it after coming off of an injury. We saw Sandy last year with the uh, Phantoms, Felix Sandstrom, before he got consistent reps. He wasn't like he is now. And then once he got consistent reps, he went on a five-game tear to end the season and is one of the best goalies in the AHL as far as I'm concerned this season. So I'm not saying, obviously, Kirill's going <clears> to <throat> just flip the switch and become one of the best goalies in the AHL, per se, because he still needs to grow a little bit more. But Lappy's talked about how much he liked him in camp and the rest of the coaching staff as well, not just Ian LaPeria, the people that actually work with the goaltender, talked about all three goaltenders and how good they did in camp. So this team is confident in each goaltender. The Phantoms also just didn't play a good early game against the Providence Bruins, and then all of a sudden just kind of got going, had a little bit of a comeback coming, that of course the very solid prospect player that I still think has a chance to be a something in the NHL, maybe a third liner, um, Zach Session was able to get a hat trick against the Phantoms, that really tarnished any ability to come back, his first two goals um, were absolutely... Um, beautiful goals by him and hats off to him to get the hat trick, but that's obviously not what you want to see if you're a Lehigh Valley Phantoms fan. Now in this game, someone that did play a hell of a game was Garrett Wilson, who got the Gordie Howe hat trick. He scored on a play assisted by Edgar Zamula, who as time goes on keeps looking more and more like he's on the cusp of being able to maybe in the next month or two actually be ready to be a more consistent guy at the next level, let alone just playing how He's playing, especially being able to move the puck offensively more and getting more comfortable on the offensive end of the puck uh, when it comes to North American hockey. You just see that continue to happen uh, with Zamula. And then Jerry Mayhew, who almost scored <clears throat> again against the Thunderbirds but hit the crossbar, was able to get a goal by Wilson and Frost. And also Morgan Frost looks like he's right on the cusp of being ready to go back up because the big thing with Morgan that people wanted to see was him develop his 200-foot game. That's what the fuck, you know what he's going to be able to do with his speed, with his shot, with his hands on offense. It's about him getting it going and being the more, um, I guess, like having more defensive awareness is the best way to put it because obviously he has the speed, he has the reaction time to be able to do stuff on defense because we saw it on the other end of the puck. And now he's starting to use that reaction time and speed to benefit him defensively and have the awareness to be able to kind of read the plays better than he ever has been. And that's exactly what the Flyers want him to work on. And he showed that. And he showed that to good success. Um, and then, of course, another <clears throat> talented youngster in the Bruins organization, Jack Stunica, was able to score the other goal before Zach Session capped off his hat trick there, and then Brennan Saunier was able to score one assisted by Matthew Strom, who I thought in his first game up with the Phantoms looked really good, got an assist against the Bruins, also looked solid in this game, uh, was scratched yesterday against the Thunderbirds, I would be interested to find out particularly why that was, but he was scratched yesterday against the Thunderbirds, and he didn't get to play, but I thought he played Solid against the Bruins, and very good in his first game in the AHL, setting the tempo, getting some hits, very good along the board play. After being an absolute dynamo, just like I called Winquist, an absolute force for the Reading Royals to start this season, being one of the most talented and best players in the ECHL in the first week of the season. But this has been um, the reaction to the Providence Bruins game. Now let's get into the Springfield Thunderbirds game. 
against the Thunderbirds, Felix Sandstrom, Felix Sandstrom, Felix Sandstrom. He was all three stars of that first period. I think it was 16 shots. He was 16 to 16 in the first period. Uh, he stopped everything. He was an absolute brick wall. Nothing was getting past King Felix. And then we had Willman scored an absolutely beautiful backhander. Talking about Morgan Frost again in this 200 foot game, pestering the guy at the blue line until he could get the puck. Then using his speed, turning it on, stopping, making a very nice pass to Willman. That's easier looking past than done, since the defender might have been able to get his stick on that with a lesser quality pass, and then Willman's able to backhand it into the net, and that was just a brilliant executed play. Unfortunately, in this game, as Lehigh battled <clears throat> and played a better game, Jerry McHugh, like, they could have won this game also, um, just as easily as Springfield did, who, yes, at times of the game, especially the first period, had the more pressure and the anti-play, but then the Phantoms kept battling, they kept playing. This was actually a pretty good full game by them. They just had kind of an unlucky draw with Jerry Mayhew at the post. He had a couple other shots in front that um, hit somebody that realistically probably would have ended up getting past Lindgren. If, so, I mean, this is just one of those games you battle with the bounces don't go your way when you're not playing the best hockey. It seems like the bounces tend to go against you rather than for you. And, of course, this season, the Phantoms as a whole have not been playing the best hockey. But in this particular game, I thought they really rebounded well after the first period and grew. And then, unfortunately, in overtime, uh, Hugh McKing was just able to pot one by Nathan Todd and Scott Perunovic. So that was who assisted his goal, and he was able to get the W for them in overtime. So the Phantoms walk away with one of a possible four points this weekend as they then head into playing the Charlotte Checkers at the PPL Center on Wednesday. That is their next game, Wednesday against the Checkers, as they look to rebound and get at least a point against a good Charlotte Checkers team that's 5-5-1, five, five, and one, a solid Charlotte Checkers team, I should say, that is 5-5-1, five, five, and one, and a team that, of course, <clears throat> are Lehigh Valley Phantoms already have played good against and have the ability to do so again. So it's all about coming out, showing some spunk, and actually playing a good game against the Checkers, just like they did last Sunday, and not playing the tilt that they played last Saturday. So this has been a reaction to the Phantoms weekend. They took one of a possible four points, getting into overtime against the Springfield Thunderbirds, and then unfortunately their, back, or their comeback efforts excuse me, were thwarted by Zach Sessions' hat trick and his absolute stellar play in that game by the Providence Bruins. So everyone have a great same pleasure today. This has been Sports Fanatics News Weekend Reaction, the Ghostly Take Edition for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Peace out, stay safe, and go Phantoms.